Full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Volume is too high. When you hear a buzzing or humming sound, when you're watching from your Samsung TV, especially for 2022 models, this may be coming from the speaker's woofer. This may happen if the volume is too high. Trying to lower the volume can help to check if that is indeed the problem. Electrical feedback. When you hear a buzzing, crackling, or humming noise from your Samsung TV, it can possibly be caused by electrical feedback. This feedback is commonly related to the cables. It can also be because of bad ventilation in the TV room or around the location where you placed your TV. Poor ventilation. If your TV is in a cramped space in your house where little air may be flowing, or there may only be a small space at the back of your TV for air to pass through, it may get too warm. Overheating caused by poor ventilation could be the reason why your TV has a buzzing sound. It is also one of the reasons for electrical feedback, incorrect placement, or installation. Sometimes the reason why your TV is buzzing is that it's not securely placed on a solid and flat surface or that it's not mounted properly on the wall. If your TV is tilted or wobbly, it can cause glitches in the audio or video display. It's good to plan out where to place your TV most conveniently and safely to avoid problems like a buzzing sound in the future. Problem with HEMI ports. Another place to check if your TV is making buzzing noises is the HDMI ports, which connect streaming devices to your TV. Samsung TVs usually have at least two HDMI ports. If you use these ports a lot, they may overheat and cause a buzzing noise from your TV. You can check if this causes the buzzing noise by unplugging the cords from your TV's HDMI ports. If the buzzing stops, the problem is with either or both of the HDMI ports. Problem with power supply board. If you have checked the previous reasons and resolved them, and you still find your TV making buzzing noises, the problem may be more complicated and could be coming from its inner parts. This is possible especially if you've had your TV for a time now. You can check your TV's power supply board, which looks like a large circuit board. Locate it and see if it's bloated. If it is, it may need a replacement. How to get rid of the buzzing noise from your Samsung TV? Try doing a soft reset. Often, a soft reset is all that is needed to solve issues on a Samsung TV. A soft reset does not erase any data. To soft reset a Samsung TV, you simply need to turn the TV off, then remove the plug from the wall outlet and wait for 60 seconds, then put the plug back in and turn the TV on again. Keep your TV cables neat. Sometimes the reason why there's a buzzing noise is because of the TV cables at the back of your TV. Make sure they're well-placed and not tangled up. Carefully arrange your TV cables and make sure everything is plugged well in its proper place. Once you've done this, see if that gets rid of the buzzing sound. Fix the ventilation around your Samsung TV. One of the common causes of the buzzing noise is the lack of proper ventilation for your TV. To improve ventilation, open the windows in the room where your TV is so that air can circulate properly or you can turn on the air conditioning whenever the room is too warm. If your TV is propped on a stand, make sure there's enough space around the TV. It's better not to have shelves positioned too close to avoid blocking air circulation. If your TV is a wall mount, it's important that there is enough space between the wall and the back of your TV so air can properly circulate. Make sure your TV is properly installed. If your TV is not properly installed, glitches to the audio and video may result. Make sure all the parts are in their place and that your TV has enough space in the room to prevent any problems. A reliable TV stand is needed so that your TV can be secure on a flat surface. It's good to place it against a wall for better support. Check to see if your TV stand is wobbly by giving it a nudge on the side that's most prone to accidents. If it wobbles, get a better TV stand. Make sure TV cables are arranged properly to avoid them being caught under, 
causing the TV to wobble. For wall-mounted TVs, installing may be a challenge, especially if you don't have prior experience. Update your TV software. Sometimes your TV software just needs updating to get rid of the buzzing noise. If your TV is connected to the internet, you can have your software updates installed automatically. The updates will be functional the next time you turn on your TV. To install automatic updates, use your remote control and go to Settings. Select Support, then Software Update, and then Auto Update. To install updates manually, go to Settings, select Support, then Software Update, and then Update Now. Do not turn off your TV until the update is finished. The TV will restart automatically once it's done. Replace your power supply board. If you find that the problem is with your power supply board, you can follow these steps. Locate your TV's power supply board and take it out by pulling out the screws that keep them in place. Make sure not to lose any of the screws as you will have to put them back. If the power supply board looks bloated, it may be damaged and may need a replacement. If you indeed need a replacement, get a new power supply board and make sure it's compatible with your TV. Install the new power supply board where the old one used to be and carefully put back the screws. Turn on the TV and see if the buzzing sound is still there. If the buzzing sound is still there, check for other probable causes or consult a technician for help. Try a hard reset. A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults and your data will be erased. To do this, do the following. Turn on the TV and press the home button on the remote. Go to settings, then click general, then click reset. You must then enter a four digit pin number, which is 0000 by default. Then click yes to reset the TV. The TV will then turn off once it has finished resetting. You can now turn the TV back on and set it up again. If your TV is still not working properly, try taking a look at the comments. I will also keep the blog post, linked in the description, updated with any new fixes that appear.